Hello everyone, Brandon with Strict Vision Athletics here with a this or that for two very unique pieces of equipment, both of which I love, both of which I use. You got the Bose Soup Ball Elite and you got the Sand Dune Stepper. Now let's talk about what do they have in common. The first thing I'm going to say is that they can be used for uh, a few of the same types of exercises. The things I find myself doing the most with these are either A, stabilization, or B, ballistic style training methods. So what does that mean? When it comes to isometrics, stabilization, or anything where you are fighting the resistance of gravity and you are doing it in a very strong and very stable, static environment, that's isometrics. If I come down into the eccentric motion of a squat and I ask my athletes to stand on this and stay down at the bottom of that squat, that's an isometric hold for that squat. So in that regard, both of these are very, uh, very similar. I can have my athletes stand on this, come down to the bottom of the squat and freeze, and I can have my athletes stand on this and do the same. Now, what I have found is that while both of these can be used for that kind of exercise and for ballistic training, which would incorporate uh, 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 a, a explosive, non-static environment where the athlete is generating as much force as they possibly can in as little time as they can possibly do it. Now, for example, if I were to have them do a jump squat on the, on the sand dune stepper, jump up as high as they can, land and freeze, that's a powerful ballistic squat. Versus uh, the BOSU ball, if say I were to have my athletes do a push-up where they grabbed onto the edge, they came down slowly, and then they boom, they popped right off the ground. That's an example of ballistic on this as well. What I have found is that there are certain subtle differences in these two pieces of equipment, and you really can have them both in your gym and justify the, the exercises that you'll, that you'll end up doing. One thing that I'll say is that when it comes to warm up, when it comes to any kind of a mobilization effort, I always go with the sand dune stepper. That's, the, that's to say that this, uh, this piece of equipment is designed for much more than just really high intense forms of exercise. You can get on this with any kind of a prehab or any kind of an injury, ankle, knee related, maybe a hip imbalance, and you can have your athletes walk on this and it provides a really non-impactful non way to just generate some blood flow, get the athletes moving, it's really nice. And, and that, uh, that's what I love about the sand dune stepper. The BOSU ball, uh, it, again, there's, there are slight differences between these two, and one difference is the, is the design of the actual model. You know, this, ex, this ball provides different exercises on both sides of its model. So this side is the, you know, that big bubble, the cushiony side, and oftentimes for isometrics, I'll end up using this cushion side, just like I use isometric for the, for the sand dune stepper. Now the difference is, if I flip this over, and I go on to the firm side, I now have an entirely new range of exercises that I can do using this firm platform. I can do isometrics again with my athlete standing on this, and if this is moving around a lot, it could be really hard to come down and hold in an isometric squat, but I can also do my ballistic training on this, and there's just a wider range of exercises that you can do with the BOSU ball because of both the sides than I have found with the sand dune stepper. Now again, I think the sand dune stepper is superior when it comes to warming up and when it comes to certain types of isometric movements I like the sand dune stepper and I like the fact that I can do a lot more single leg exercises with the sand dune stepper in comparison to the BOSU ball. That's one thing that I think the sand dune stepper does better is that it has these two pads, one for your left foot, one for your right foot. So if, for example, I want to do Bulgarian split squats, I can choose left and right foot placement on the pad versus just having to put my foot right here in the middle every single time and having to shift my entire body to make sure that my foot is lined up in the center of this, uh, you know, this is much more accommodating for that kind of thing. Just an example. Again, very, very uh, good pieces of equipment here. These are the best. These, these two guys right here are the best of their category. And that's why I have them. That's really why we go for anything that we have in the gym these days. It's got to be the best. But uh, I love them both. I think they both do uh, really well at their job in different little areas. If you guys have any questions, uh, if you have a specific exercise, you want to know which one I would do, send me a comment uh, or send me a question in the comments below and I will be sure to answer it. But love them both. Sand Dune Stepper, Bosu Ball Elite, well done.